Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a belt which is relatively low level but relatively amazing uh, because it has some very nice stats. It can be useful on just about any character and it is the Blade Buckle Plated Belt. With relatively low strength requirement of only 60 and a relatively low level of level 29, it's actually a pretty sweet belt, uh, especially considering it has full potion slots. So as you can see here, we have full potion slots with the blade buckle, which is nice. Now, what else does the blade buckle have besides maximum potion slots? Well, first off, it has a really amazing amount of defense for level 29 of 54 which is relatively high. It also has a 30% uh, faster hit recovery. So if you are a sorceress, if you are a druid, if you are a paladin, if you are a assassin, if you are a necromancer, if you honestly, if you're literally any class in the game, faster hit recovery is going to help you out. But sorceress in particular has terrible, terrible faster hit recovery breakpoints. And, uh, and even just a little bit of faster hit recovery can be a huge boon to them. So if you're having issues with faster hit recovery stuns, uh, this can actually come in handy really, really nicely on uh, on pretty much just about any character. Uh, we also have 100% enhanced defense on this, which does vary by 20%. So we get uh, we get uh, 80 to 100%. We also have a 30 flat defense bonus on this, which is also very nice. And then we have plus 5 strength and plus 10 dex. So not only does this give you really nice faster hit recovery, it also gives you more block chance in the form of dexterity. It gives you more strength to put on your equipment and more dexterity to put on your equipment. So, uh, so very, very nice. The dexterity is also going to give you a small bonus to your attack rating uh, and your defense, which is uh, which is pretty darn sweet. And um, it also has damage reduced by 3, which at level 29 might actually save you a little bit. And uh, attacker takes damage of 8, which nobody really cares about. Uh, but I guess if you were building a Thorns build, maybe you care about it. Now, uh, Blade Buckle can be upgraded, and, uh, and we're going to explore those options today. So to upgrade this, you are going to need a Shale Rune, and you are going to need a Tal Rune. Uh, and, uh, and this is going to get you from a Tier 1 to Tier 2. Now, the really interesting thing about this belt is that it's already level 29. Most Nightmare difficulty items are level 29 or level 30. So I don't actually anticipate a really large increase in level on this particular item. And uh, and, and let's uh, let's grab a shale rune. I need to go grab one real quick, but uh, we're going to grab one. We're going to upgrade this and we're going to see what it turns out as. All right, so I got my shale rune, got my lem runes, got my cool runes, got my little diamonds on in here, and we're going to upgrade this blade buckle. Now before I upgrade this, let me say one more thing. Um, there is another pair of gauntlets in the game. It's called Blood Fists, and the Blood Fists have 30% fast hit recovery on them, too. And if you rock Blood Fist and Blade Buckle together, you're rocking 60% faster hit recovery with only two items, which is an amazing amount of faster hit recovery. And, uh, and on particular characters, especially a Sorceress who has issues with faster hit recovery stun locks, not a bad combo. It's not a bad combo at all. So let's upgrade this item and let's see what we can get with a shale, a towel, and a perfect diamond. I'm actually kind of excited about this one because I feel like it's going to be a good upgrade uh, on one tier. I'm not. I don't really think it's going to be a good upgrade for the third tier, but uh, but we're going to do both anyway because why not? So we're going to go from 54 defense, 60 strength, level 29, to 126 defense. 110 strength, level 34. That is actually a super solid upgrade. So the defense went way up, right? From 54 to 126. I mean, that's literally uh, more than double. So more than double defense increase for only, what, five level increase? We went from 29 to 34. That's nothing. We went from 60 to 110 strength. If you're any kind of melee character, you've got 110 strength. So... Very, very solid one-tier upgrade. I'm actually kind of excited about that. Um, now, the third-tier upgrade, I'm pretty sure is going to be not good because it's going to go to the Colossus Girdle. And the Colossus Girdle is 185 strength, which is kind of nuts. But the defense might go up nicely. So let's take a look. So 126 defense, 110 strength requirement, level 34. To 172 strength, level uh, 185 
sorry, 172 defense, 185 strength, level 79. So definitely not the best upgrade to tier 3. Although I was actually, I'm actually really excited about that upgrade from tier 1 to 2. I always thought that uh, Blade Buckle was a relatively high level item for normal difficulty. And, uh, and that really kind of proves it because the Nightmare difficulty items really kind of start around level 30. And when you upgrade Blade Buckle into a Nightmare difficulty item, it only goes up to level 34, which is, uh, which is a pretty uh, mediocre upgrade as far as the level is concerned. I mean, it's, it's like nothing. And uh, if I was using a Blade Buckle, which has happened on many occasions, Blade Buckle can often be the best belt in your inventory for quite some time um, until you get your hands on something like a String of Ears or a Fadungos or, uh, or a, a Razor Tail or, or maybe, you know, whatever it is very specifically that you need on your character. Blade Buckle is just that, like, all-around belt that gives you defense, it gives you faster hit recovery, it gives you strength, it gives you dex, it gives you some damage reduced by, and, uh, and it's not going to be best in slot for a lot of characters, but it still is going to be a really amazing belt for a lot of characters. Um, especially, like I said, a uh, sorceress who has a lot of issues with faster hit recovery problems. I would definitely put that on a lower level sorceress, let her uh, not die to faster hit recovery stuns, and then, uh, you know, uh, teleport around to my heart's content. Um, all in all, Blade Buckle is one of those just really nice belts, and um, I think that if you have one in your inventory, you usually are happy to have it because a lot of the times it's the best belt you can put on at, uh, at level 29. Um, there are some other options, of course, uh, like, for instance, Night Smoke with 50% uh, damage taken goes to mana. You also got Lenimo Sash, if you happen to get your hands on that, that has the uh, mana regeneration. And, um, you know, all of these could be upgraded to their next tier, which would certainly be a, uh, a nice bonus. Anyway, these uh, videos, some of these videos on the lower level uniques that uh, don't really have much to talk about, no special things, you know, and like they don't have, uh, you know, like a chance to cast amp or, you know, like, uh, like, like decrepify spams or poison novas coming out the wing wang, you know, th these items are not really super special, but don't let that fool you because um, despite the fact that Blade Buckle doesn't have the most amazing statistics on it, it's still an amazing build. Uh, and as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. Uh, and before we go, before I forget, because I always do, let's go over to Silo's Pen. That was the uh, Wikipedia page, by the way. I, uh, I do love going to the Wikipedia page. Uh, it comes up uh, with all the information that I would like. Now, uh, let's take a look and see where we can find a blade buckle. So let's assume 150% magic find. And uh, let's assume we have, uh, da, 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 da. let's assume we're trying to find this in normal difficulty. Because I, like, I feel like that's probably the better way to do this. So instead of uh, trying to pretend that we're looking for this on a higher level character, let's just pretend we're uh, about 150% magic find. We're in normal difficulty and we're trying to find the blade buckle. Uh, because that's about when you're going to want to find it anyway, right? So we're looking at uh, Diablo has a really good chance at 1 in 226 and Bale with 1 in 243. Uh, so it looks like it's almost like an exit item for, for act, you know, for a normal difficulty, which is kind of cool. Uh, we also have uh, Neolithak has a 1 in 6,448 chance. And then we can go to the super uniques here. And uh, we've got uh, Neolithak, Sharptooth Slayer, Frozenstein, Pindle, Thresh Socket, Snapchip, Lister, Akmel the Curse, Bartok the Bloody, Kalenzo, Annihilator, Ventar the Unholy. So basically a lot of monsters toward the end of, uh, of the game. So we're pretty much looking at Act 4 and Act 5 only, and, uh, and specifically a lot of the uh, super unique monsters that are in Act 4 and Act 5, and then, uh, and of course, Bale and Diablo. It's not bad. And uh, just out of curiosity, let's take a look at Nightmare as well. And we'll go to the uh, bosses. Uh, so highest probability for the bosses in Nightmare is Andariel. Um, and unless you're doing quest skills. But Andariel is 1 in 267 in Nightmare. So that's not a bad chance either. Uh, and then, of course, Mephisto also 1 in 294. Diablo 1 in 307. So a pretty common item I feel like you're going to have in your inventory uh, fairly often. And uh, let me go ahead and pull this out of here. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Blade Buckle Colossus Girdle. 
uh, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.